everybody. Welcome to Romance Roundup. I'm Sarah Tani Humphreys, and I'm sorry I'm a little cash today. I didn't purdy myself up. It's been crazy with work and kids and writing and reading. Reading? Let's talk about reading for a second. The book I've read this week is amazing. This is a romance. It's erotic romance, so it's very spicy. It's by the very talented Olivia Cunning. Now, this is the second book in her Sinners on Tour series. Let me just say, if you have ever had a raging crush on, like, an incredible rock star, you know, I'm thinking, uh, for me, it was Simon Le Bon of Duran Duran uh, and John Bon Jovi. Arr, love them. Axl Rose, too. Hmm. So, if you had any of those, like, rock star fantasies, loving the rock star guys, <laughs> you must read this series. It's hot. It's blazing, sizzling, incredibly crazy hot. It's not for the faint of heart. If you like just the sweet romance, don't read this. <laughs> this is sexy, sassy, crazy, and amazing. But at the heart, it's a love story. The first book in the series was Backstage Pass, which I read and is absolutely amazing. That's Br Brian and Myrna's story. The second book, which just was released the other day, is Rock Hard. It is awesome. It is about Cedric Leinhardt, who's the lead singer of Sinners, the rock band, and Jessica. Now, Jessica and Cedric were together a couple years ago, and they were engaged. She proposed to her on stage. Red hot relationship. Now, she gets into law school super excited, but she has no money. She can't pay for it. And then he's kind of an up-and-coming rock star at that time. Doesn't have lots of dough. His tour breakfast bus is broken. He's stressing about money. So he says to her, you can't go to law school. You're my woman. You're not going. So she basically tells him to stick it, throws the ring at him, and walks out. So fast forward a couple years. She's in law school. She fails, fails a major test, gets failed uh, paper by this professor who clearly hates her because she's hot and the professor is uh, not. <clears throat> so she needs money that summer. She's got to earn money to pay for the rest of her law school. So she gets a job stripping because, you know, she can. She's a hottie. Uh, so she does it. She's going to support herself fine. So, of course, as fate would have it, who happens to wander into the strip joint? Of all strip joints, he walks into hers. Cedric goes in for the bachelor party for Brian from book one. Uh, for Brian's bachelor party. And who's on stage but the love of his life, the woman who ruined him for all other women, Jessica. So, of course, the two of them reconnect. Myrna, Brian's fiancée, offers Jessica a job on the tour bus because she's doing research about groupies and, and how they, why they're obsessed with rock stars and everything. So she just says to, to Jess, well, why don't you work for me and I'll pay you this summer to work. So, of course, here we have Jess and Cedric, totally trapped in the bus, Needless to say, the sparks fly. They're in Las Vegas. Um, let me just tell you, they found some really interesting ways to spend their time. Oh my goodness. Uh, the Eiffel Tower, the fountain, the Bellagio, oh, restaurants. Listen, these crazy kids are doing stuff left, right, and sideways. But at the heart of it, it really is a romance. It's a wonderful love story. There's a lot of humor. There's a lot of great hot scenes. But if you have ever had a fantasy about a rock star or just been in love with a crazy hot, sexy, whoo, unbelievable rock star, then you have got to read this. Olivia Cunning is a talent not to be missed. So ladies and gentlemen, walk, don't run. Get your butt to your laptop, download, order the paperback, get it in a mass market paperback, a nook, a Kindle, whatever you can. Pick up a copy of Rock Hard. You will not be sorry. And I can't wait to see what's next for Sinners on Tour. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week on Romance Roundup when... I will have a special episode on the Romantic Times Book Lovers Convention and the Mr. Romance Competition. Ooh, I don't know. See